Hello, sweet friends and crafters. Welcome to Carol's Craft Cottage. For today's video, we are going to do a little something different, and I'm going to share with you how to make some shaker mix. So we have this new die from Scrap Diva Design. It's called the Little Spooky Halloween Shaker Plate. And I'm get, getting ready to make some shakers, so I wanted to make a shaker mix to use in that project. And as you can see here, this die has these little, I would say they're, they look like moths to me. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's something different, let me know. And I have one here and I did them in orange. So that's, that's what they look like cut. And then uh, there are three rows of those and then you get three rows of spiders. And here are the spiders. They're so cute. They got little crosses on their back. Um, and if you put a little red dot, they'll be black widows, right? And we have black widows here where I live. Yuck. <laughs> and so those are what those look like. Okay. And then this is the second plate that you get with the die. And there are two types of bats which you see right here and then you get the skull and crossbones and then you get ghosts and I'll show you those so here is the one bat I did it in gold and then the other bat I did in purple as you see right here this is with the wings right up in the air and then we have the skull and crossbones which I did in green they're really sparkly I cut them out on a uh, glitter card stock and then I have some white glitter card stock ghosts um, I didn't know if I pointed that out but you get a, a row of ghosts right here so I cut them out twice so I would have a lot of ghosts so we're going to take those and we're going to put them all in this little container right here. And as them alone, they would be fine as a shaker. But I'm going to put some more fun things in. And then I'll keep this on my desk for when I make Halloween uh, shakers. So I'm going to put in some gold sequins. And then I'm going to put in some orange sequins. These are a little bit smaller than the gold ones. And then I've got some green. I like all the colors for Halloween. I like to use this color green. I like orange. I like purple. I like gold and black. Okay, so we're going to stir that up. <clears throat> and some of these are going to flip over so when I do put them in my shaker uh, project before I put the acetate on my project I will flip these back over I'll just use my little spoon and I'll go in there and I will flip over the ones that are see this so that you can see like that what's that what's going on um, I'll flip them over so they are on the right side so they show up and then I like to put some beads so I'm going to use these small beads right here they're like bugle beads so I'm going to put in a couple spoonfuls of those and that'll get my shaker to make noise when you shake it and then I'm going to put in some black sequins and I'm going to put these real shiny ones like these here. Oop. So yeah, let's go ahead and put them in. That'll be okay. And then we're going to stir it up. 
And then something else I like to put into my shaker. If you got some little guys that are trying to escape, you can put them in there. <laughs> I have these right here. These come from Michael's. They're transparent little balls. I like to put these in here too. They actually pick up light. And I also like, I love these iridescent clear sequins. They also pick up light when you put them in a shaker. And I'm not even sure where these came from. I think these came from uh, Target. And you can see sequin iridescent. And it doesn't say Target on here, but I think they are Target. All right. And we're going to go ahead and mix that up. And you'll see you get quite a bit of shaker mix in here. And the next video that I will have, this one's a nice and short one. Um, I'm going to be using this shaker mix in that video. So you'll get to see what this looks like. And let me go ahead and put some of this out. This is fun to do. So you see I've got little beads, sequins. Look at how pretty this is. This is gonna look really good in my project. So this is what I do before I put the acetate on the top. I just flip these over and my shakers aren't too big so that these just flip back over to the wrong side. So look how pretty that is. And this one's green. So it's all nice and sparkly and it's going to look great. So thank you for joining me today. This was a nice short video just to show you how to make shaker uh, for your shaker mix for your projects. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, come back again soon because I will have the project that I use this in. Thank you so much for joining me today. Remember to sprinkle kindness like confetti wherever you go. And until the next video, happy crafting. Bye-bye.